Hey guys, this will be Software B, the General Tap. Once again, Software B, the General Tap. The um, reason I'm specifying Software B is because we also have Software A um, and also General for Software A. So, in case you landed on this video, um, we have Software A, Software B. Um, so, let's go into this uh this is software b general tab um as you can see uh same thing as the other videos pretty self-explanatory here you have um the option to change the password set up the password for the player all you have to do is just click on the player id and you land on the general there you can see uh where it says password i'm gonna put a little arrow to that so you can see it uh, you can put the name, so personal information. Under personal information, you're going to be able to see the name, house, email, that's up to you. Uh, refer by, in case that you have any customers uh, referring players, uh, like a cousin, or you could also put a little comment where it says refer by, and you could just remember uh, who referred that guy in case he doesn't want to pay. Or in case that you offer bonus to the referrals. Um, under the uh, referral, you can see mobile, um, cell phone number for the guy, uh, ratings, rating, rating, sorry, rating, rating for this. Uh, rating, if you click on it, um, you can see where it says different type of ratings, gold, diamonds. Uh, that's pretty much to keep track of all your players, like which are the best players, regular players, average players. Uh, this is actually that was requested by a big agent uh, because he offered bonus to different type of players. So if they become a diamond player, depending on the deposits, they get X amount of money uh, credit back to their account. So... To give you an example, for example, if you are a gold member, you get 5% um, cash back or 5% free play. If you're a diamond, you get 10% free play, 10% cash, ca uh, cash back. Uh, and when you log in, you can see the customer list and you're going to be able to identify the silver, the gold, and the diamond. So if they call customer service, they also get treated a little bit better because they're important players for this agent. That's something that was added um, by request of an agent. It helps out. Uh, free play weekly percentage. Uh, it goes back to the uh, rating of the player. So the system will automatically detect um, a percentage based on the net losses in credit as a free play. Also, uh, you could also do it as a rebate, so that will be cash. Uh, that wouldn't be a free play, it will be automatically credit to the account for the next billing cycle or the next week. So if a, if a customer closes on Sunday night, automatically the system will say, okay, he, I don't know, he lost $1,000, 10% of it, uh, it's going to go back to his account as a free play, and it's, like I said, it's done automatically. The customer doesn't have to go in, or the agent doesn't have to go log in and do it by hand. Uh, once again, that was something that was uh, added by one of our biggest agents that wanted that feature because he was doing it manually, and all the sub-agents were doing it manually. So we were able to help him out, and we just implemented that for everybody who wants to use it. Um, now, if we go to... Uh, private notes. Private notes, it's something that was also added uh, back in the day for players, or excuse me, for agents to uh, just put a little comment like uh, customer is uh, really hard to handle or customer will be a tricky customer because he tries to cheat the system or he's using a bot and you want to put notes that only you uh, want to keep tabs or your your sub agents want to see those private notes once they log in um, so that way they can be aware of what type of customers you have the customer of course will not see it um, 
but it's just simple comments. Uh, customer tracks, uh, tries uh, to cheat the system, or customer tries not to confirm passwords, stuff like that. Um, now we go to account status. Uh, on this software versus software A, on this one you could put the customer offline. That means the customer is going to be able to log in and see whatever message that you want to um, show him, like, give me a call, I'm looking for you, whatever. He logs in and the message is going to show um, automatically. Uh, if he removes the message, he can still not make any bets because the system is offline for him. Uh, so view only, that means that he's going to be able to see everything, but he's not going to place any wagers. Status. Um, that's if you want to close his account. So if you want the customer not even to log into the website, it will be closed. If you want him to log in and view the message, view balance, view dependent place, then it will be view only. He's not going to be able to submit more wagers, but he's going to be able to be around on the website and go up and down and see the lines and everything. Now, account access, that's whatever you want the customer to view on the website once he logs in. So if you want to let him see horses, if you want a casino, live casino, prop builder, um, all of that, uh, you're going to be able to limit the access. Uh, horses and sports, you're going to be able also to limit access to only doing it online, or he could also call. Uh, we got agents that don't like the customers to call because um, there's there's some tricky customers that will call in and, and try to get the clerk to make a mistake. So we just have them do it online, confirm the website, uh, confirm the password uh, online uh, if it's horses or sports. So we just avoid the hassle and just have them do it online. Free play access, uh, once you give him a free play, then you can determine how he wants the free play to be used. Uh, if it's a straight contest part of teasers, you could, as you can see on the website, you can access or limit that uh, interaction with the free play. Wager permission, it's what kind of wagers do you want him to do? Only straight bets, and that's, we're talking about uh, the, the money on his account. If it's a credit or a post-up, Whatever balance he has to gamble or to play around on the website, you could determine if it's only for straights, parlays, round robins, teasers, beef bets. Now, it does specify that it's a round robin, you could cancel it. It's because we have an option for the parlays to convert into round robins. Uh, but if you don't want him to do round robins at all, then you will need to cancel the parlay and the Rob Robbins because he could also do it manually, right? Pick A and B and then log out, log in, and then pick B and A. That will be a two-team Rob Robin. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it's just to remove the Rob Robin automatically done uh, by the customer or by the system, sorry, so because the customer can still do it manually. Um, teasers, if you don't want the player to see the teasers, we also have a whole bunch of teasers that you could offer. But if you don't want them to have all the teasers, you will need to call in and we could go ahead and edit the teasers that you want that guy to see. But teasers in general, if you want to turn them off, you could. Uh, crypto, crypto will be if you want to receive the payment by crypto. Or if you want to pay by crypto, that will be a little tap there. So, I don't know if I'm going too fast, please go ahead and put in a comment on the video if I was going too fast or... If you couldn't hear me well, or I didn't explain something, or if you have any doubts, once again, this will be software B, the general tap. Thank you so much.